like HODC says, to receive the spiritual power because um, the scriptures say that the uh, majority of Israel going to be delivered from the north country, from the north anyway. And, uh, you know, when uh, Esau come down on us, you know, we're going to need to be protected. So how are we going to be protected, man? The Lord going to give his men spiritual power. So I can... So I'm going to start with this scripture. This is uh, Isaiah chapter 59, verse 19. It says, so shall they run. I mean, so shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west <clears throat> and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood. Who is the enemy? Esau, when he come in like a flood. Uh, with the troops, the female troops uh, under uh, martial law. You can see already. Uh, if you've been paying attention, that Esau and already passed legislations on, uh, uh, you know, um, people being terrorists, um, um, uh, um, to uh, slacky, my bad. The, um, you know, get the concentration camps ready. What's, you know, what's gonna happen when when the society break apart? What group of people to keep? You know, the uh, Human Resource Preparedness Act. Um, yeah, Esau already got his little action, put, put all his little plans and stuff in motion. Uh, the Georgia Guidestones, they want the uh, population reduced to 500 million. You know, so, you know, this man got all types of weapons and we only have, you know, you might have a knife or a gun or something, but you can't do nothing against this man, man. So the only way you're going to be protected from this is if the Lord gives you spiritual powers, man. And that's why the scriptures say, uh, okay, this is Isaiah 59 and 19. So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. Right. The Lord going to give his men spiritual powers, man. And that's going to be over here in America. Um, let me see. This is Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31. It says, but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Right, so we're supposed to wait upon you. How about you? man? We're not supposed to pick up no arms or nothing to go fight against this man, man. We're supposed to wait upon you. How about you? They shall mount up with, e with wings as eagles, right? We're going to be able to fly. They shall run and not be weary, right? So we're going to be running and we're not going to get tired, man. You know how little kids like to run and you be looking at them like, damn, them kids don't never get tired. That's how we going to be, but it's going to be spiritual powers, man. It says, uh, and they shall walk and not faint, right? We ain't got them abilities right now, man. This is Jeremiah chapter 16, verse 16. It says, Behold, I was sent for many fishers. So right now, all we're doing is fish, fishing, man. We're fishing like how the apostles was doing. You know, throwing the word out there, bringing in uh, the Lord's elect through, through the Spirit, man. Said the Lord, and they shall fish them. And, and after will I send for many hunters, and they shall hunt them. Right, so the Lord will give us power to go hunt these people, man. It says, uh... And they shall hunt them from every mountain and from every hill and out of the holes of the rocks. Right? Governments is mountains. Hills is nations. Out the holes of the rocks because the elites going to try to flee, man. You know? How are we going get, to get up, up on the ground and get them? Spiritual powers, man. For mine eyes are upon all their ways. They are not hid from my face. Neither is there iniquity hid from mine eyes. Right? So the Lord sent all the wickedness that these elites did, man. You know, got our people uh, uh, all bugged out, thinking that they're African-American. Got you thinking that you you have to be in Israel to get spiritual powers. Got you thinking that your woman is over you, you know. They got everybody uh, worshiping uh, witchcraft. They got us where you can worship Satan out in the open now, you know. And then don't forget the LGBT, um, Q, Queer and whatever else, and uh, a bestiality that they got going on. The Lord seen all that wickedness. 
that they did, and you know, and got Israel doing. It says in first, I will recompense their iniquity and their sin double, because they have defiled my land. Right. So the Lord gonna give us spiritual powers to kill them, bring them back to life, kill them again, man. It says they have defiled my land, and as you see what's going on with the land in Israel right now, man. It's polluted, man. Got homosexuals over there. Um, you know, a lot of the, the, uh, the uh, curse, the land has a curse on it. They got to import the resources, you know. And then they got the nuclear facilities over there and shit, man. And then you got the, uh, uh, look at this straight. It says, uh, they have filled my inheritance with the carcasses of their detestable and abominable things. All right. This is First Corinthians chapter fifteen. First Corinthians chapter 15, verse 50, it said, Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood shall not inherit the kingdom of the Most High. Right? So, you know, we're not going to be able to get, the, uh, get into the kingdom with this flesh and blood. Neither doth corruption inherit incorruption. But I shew you a mystery. We shall not all sleep. Right? We're not all going to die. But we shall all be changed. Right? We're going to be given a spiritual form, man. Right? An angelic body in a moment in the twinkling of an eye at the last trump for the trumpet shall sound and the dead shall be raised incorruptible. Right. The ones that down in the house shall be raised up first and we shall and we shall be changed for this corruptible must put on incorruption incorruption and this mortal must put on immortality. Right? So we're going to be given a spiritual body, man, and come up out of this flesh. All right, this is the the last one. And then I'm gonna play this video. This was one of our, everybody's favorite cartoon. This is uh, Jeremiah chapter 16, verse 14. It says, "Therefore, behold, the days come," said the Lord, "that it shall no more be said, the Lord liveth." That brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt, right? That's the Passover, man. We got the Passover coming up soon, man. You know, uh, that's one of our high holy days. It says, uh, but the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north, right? North America, man. We're going to be delivered from over here in this place. You know how are? We have the elect, man. And that, so this is where, uh, um, where the spiritual power is going to take place. This is where, where, where all the main... Um, Bullshit has been, and this is the, where the main destruction is going to be, man. That's why our deliverance, deliverance is going to be from here, man. You know, majority of Israel. It says, But the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north, and from all the lands whither he had driven them, and I will bring them again into their land once the Lord um, nuked Israel, because Israel going to be nuked also, you know, um, he going to uh, basically refix the land back up. But America is not going to be fixed back up. It says, Now we'll bring them again into their land that I gave unto their fathers. Right. So the land of Israel, man. You know, if there's some elect over there, they're going to be delivered. But the most majority of the deliverance is going to come from over here in America. Because this is where majority of Israel is, man. You know, the Lord even had storms. <laughs> Destroyed Puerto Rico to send a lot of them Israelites over here, man. For their judgment. Or for the uh, salvation, man. But yeah, I'm gonna play this video. You have our small shot. Uh, Rogers out. We have the elect. The Lord gonna give us that spiritual powers, man. And it's gonna be over here in America, man. So, shalom. Go. No. It is not a sin to fight for the right cause. There are those who words alone will not reach. Cell is such a being. I know how you feel, Gohan. You are gentle. You do not like to hurt. 
I know because I too have learned these feelings. But it is because you cherish life that you must protect it. Ugh. This sentimental downpour is killing me. It's so nice of you to help, Sixteen. But I plan on doing this my way. Please, drop your restraints. Protect the life I loved. You have the strength. My scanners sensed it. Just let it go. Oh, 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 oh. 